You began the journey of recording music on your own, and now you have finished writing a song in GarageBand, and you're off to releasing a single. Not yet. Nothing negative. GarageBand is a useful tool, and it seems to have hidden features with every button you press. So now, we'll explore the features of equalization or EQ before you release your single. Here are five tips for recording your songs, EQ. It's best practice to begin mixing with your phone around half or 50% of its capacity. Be sure to use high quality headphones like Apple, Bose, Skullcandy, and other similar brands. By mixing around 50% of your volume, you'll be able to hear and have room to adjust instruments and vocals with a comfortable amount of room. Any higher and you'll distort the audio tracks in the long run. GarageBand has an automation feature that allows for dynamic manipulation. It's best not to go above 0.0, .0 decibels as sounds will peak and distort once you export your tracks. Adjust with 0 decibels being your ceiling and lower other tracks as it pleases your ear. Depending on the instrument, you will get ambient noise and frequencies in a variety of sections throughout the overall song. Individually, your track may sound good. However, keep in mind the frequencies from 20 Hz to 100 Hz and 10,000 Hz and higher. Use a roll off to ease these sounds in your track. Notice the following example. Professional studios have equipment to cut or boost different frequencies on a precise basis. If you find your recordings having noticeable violence, such as the S, SH, CH, or T sounds, lower the frequencies between 2000 Hz and 4000 Hz. If you find noticeable plosives, such as Bs and Ps, lower the frequencies between 80 Hz and 100 Hz. Notice this example. Seashells, seashells by the seashore. Peter Papa Pecko Pickle Peppers. Now notice with the 2000 to 4000 Hz turned down. Seashells, seashells by the seashore shore. Peter Piper Pickle Pickle Peppers. Normalize your track in GarageBand. Merge it with itself and use the presets available. These are designed to allow the EQ adjustments to make your songs process easier. Adjust accordingly, but remain within the recommended decibel ranges. Lastly, think about the bigger picture. The song is made up of individual tracks, but together they act as the entire song. This may require you to lower frequencies in different hertz ranges and increase others. However, serve the song and trust your ears. Well, export your song as a WAV file, give it a test listen, and now you're ready to submit your song to a streaming service. I hope these five EQ tips helped you in your musician journey.